Today, I'm going to show you how to design this adpad flyer with Adobe Illustrator. So, if learning Adobe Illustrator looks like your interest, consider subscribing. And don't forget to stay around till the very end of this video because I'm going to share a lot of tips to help you use Adobe Illustrator effectively. So, I have all my resources here which I'll be using for this tutorial and I'm going to link them up in the description so you can download them and use it for your own design then i'm going to open up adobe illustrator and when you open up adobe illustrator you see this welcome screen and you are going to click on create new so once you click on create new this dialog box pops up and you have to do some settings here to set your new document i'm going to title my file flyer okay flyer um let's say give box okay flyer giggle box because we are actually designing for giggle box okay it's a advert for a tv show company okay so that's what we are doing so to set my preset details i have to click on print and when i click on print you see a lot of presets here which you like to use i'm going to click on a4 being that adobe illustrator does not have a5 size so what you are going to do is to click on a4 then we are going to divide the a4 into two to get a5 so once you click on a4 it gives you all these presets which are going to leave it at default and hit on create so once you click on create it opens up the canvas which you are going to design on and next thing you want to do is to edit your ads but let's set this size to standard a5 size first okay so to edit your ad board and a real quick i'm using adobe illustrator 2021 so if you're using any other version of adobe illustrator that is not 2021 you're going to observe some little changes here which we won't allow it to affect our tutorial okay all you have to do is to go to windows and you go to workspace and you go to reset essentials classic if you're using essentials reset essentials if you're using essentials classic reset essentials classic just like mine and once you do that it's going to reset your workspace to default and you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial so you're going to hit on shift o on your keyboard and you're able to edit your ad board if shift o does not work you have your ad board tool here so you click on it and then you're going to click on where you have your landscape okay for some versions of adobe illustrator you may not have your properties on the uh, right hand side here you have it at the top okay so whichever one works for you it's perfect when you hit on landscape mode okay this is what we get on the ad board now this is the canvas where we are going to design on so you hold on this angle drag it to the center so when you get that note okay center you leave and once you leave you have a5 now you know half of a4 is a5 so this is what we get then once you do that you're going to uh, hit on exit to exit the ad board editing mode okay so that's it and i have the design i already did here which i'm just looking at it and redesigning so you can see how easy it is to work with adobe illustrator okay so next up we're going to do a little thing here we're going to click on uh rectangle to and create this shape like so um, leave it there okay that's cool and you see you have your fill here and you have your stroke okay so i'm going to hit on my stroke and when you click on stroke you hit on none to take off the stroke because i don't want the stroke color there now you click on the fill and let's fill it with black so this is what we get okay and i'm going to click on this and adjust it this way to get this curve okay so this is what we get a curve that looks like this looks cool so i'm going to place this around here that looks perfect now we can always adjust that position if it's not okay forget about the fact that the shape is going out of the canvas trust me when you export this design it does not have any effect on the design because adobe illustrator will only export the canvas okay so far you do the export very well so i'm going to bring up the logo i have for this i'll just paste it right here and this is it okay so i'll place it here and resize it okay 
just place it around there and that looks very perfect and nice and be sure that we have the same black so it seems the black i have here and the black on the logo is not the same so i'm going to click on my shape and click on your eyedrop eyedropper tool and click on the black so we have the very same black gradient here okay we have the very same black feel here so it matches with the logo okay that looks very cool and very nice then i have all the write-up for this particular um, design here so i'm going to copy out the very first one and minimize that okay so i'm going to paste it here let's see how it goes i'm going to hit on that separate them this way this looks cool and very nice so press ctrl a once you're done with that and align to right okay you click on where you have your paragraph you align to the right so if you can't find your paragraph here you press ctrl t and it brings up this panel so you click on your paragraph and set it that looks very cool so once you align to the right you can take it to this other side let's change the font to metropolis okay metropolis and i'm going to use uh, metropolis bold uh let's see how it looks like metropolis medium fine let's use metropolis medium and you can see the line spacing between all the text is way too much so i'm going to adjust my leading okay so leading 12 and you have something like this i'm going to increase the font size again and place it around here now there is one thing you need to understand about flyer designs with adobe illustrator you need to be able to guard your designs okay so you press ctrl r on your keyboard to activate your rulers okay so i'm going to bring out my rulers and place here basically for me i don't really design with rulers that's because i'm used to this so i'm very very careful the way i take my elements to the edge of the design because if you don't do that you may you know when printing flyers the printers print it in a large sheet of paper that will later be cut or trimmed into smaller pieces okay and in that process they may end up trimming off the most important elements in your design but with the help of this guideline you will be able to guard your design without having all those stuff okay so when designs are done that way without guarding your design or being careful about the trimming aspect okay it makes your design look unprofessional and someone seeing your design will know that it was done by an amateur but when you are able to guard your designs that's why i always tell my students don't allow your elements to get close to the edge okay so it's better you use the rulers okay so with the help of your rulers you click and take it to the other side okay and do the same to this other top and do it to the bottom as well so everything you are going to do on this design basically you're supposed to have a particular measurement for the edges but i don't want to go way much to that okay so i'll just do it i'm just assuming those lines okay so everything you are going to do will be inside this okay so let's place this here perfect and let's adjust the size again perfect and then we're going to highlight 247 because one that to stand out and become very bold and let's change the font family to uh, bold and adjust the leading to take it down a little that looks perfect and nice okay so we're going to do something else again let's take it down a little again uh, that's perfect now so let's create this shape using our uh, rectangle to let's create a shape like this very fine and click on this particular node you know we want to create a curve click on this point hold shift and click on this other point so once we click and select those two points like that we are able to create the curves on only those two points okay so that's how it works then we're going to give this a color click on i on your keyboard and click on this yellow so we can use that particular brand color Control left square bracket to send that to the back and that's how it works okay so let's highlight 24 7 and give it white color and that looks very cool and very nice so this is what we get basically and we are progressing in the design and next thing we are going to do 
is to uh, create some shapes around here let's see this using our polygon tool if you click and hold on the rectangle tool you will see where you have your polygon tool and click when you click you have sides i want to use six sides let's see what we get so this is six sides polygon so with the help of my direct selection tool i'm going to select this other side of the polygon so i'm able to select these three nodes reason being that i want to transform just those three nodes so i'm going to click and drag and with the help of shift i'll remain on a straight line you know when you hold shift you'll be able to remain on a straight line just like that so this is what we get and i'm going to take it to this other side and i'm going to give it a color Click on I on your keyboard and click on this particular color. You know, we've been working with this color since it's actually the brand color and work with it. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to adjust the size. Uh, when you click on your pick tool or selection tool, sorry, hold uh, shift and click and drag like that and adjust the size so you can place this around here. This looks very cool and very nice. You can take it close a little. So when you have something like this, you click on your direct selection tool and let's give this a curve. Click on these three nodes, hold shift, click on the second node, hold shift and click on this other node and give it a curve just like that, not too much. Just like that is perfect. Something close to this is very perfect. And I like that curve to be very sharp. Like I want that angle to be very sharp. So I'm going to hold here and take it down a little. Very cool. So we have something that looks like this okay very cool and nice let's adjust that again i'm just trying to transform this so it fits what i want okay this looks cool adjust the size again and make it big place it here and you can adjust again and place it around here so basically what i was trying to achieve is to make this uh edge this curve here to be as sharp as possible and not bending too much okay so this is what we get you can get something related to this then you are close to that so i'm going to place it around here and then i'm going to hold shift click and drag to this other side and leave okay now i'm going to take that step again because i know you didn't understand what i did there so hold alt alt when you hold alt and drag any object in illustrator you are able to duplicate that object okay so if, you, if i want to duplicate any object i will hold alt click and drag to duplicate as simple as that but then i want to duplicate to a particular direction so i'm going to hold shift and alt okay so you click and drag first click and drag first hold alt and shift to remain on a straight line i leave so once you do that i i don't know it seems to me I don't feel like I'm understanding this. So I'm going to re repeat again. Delete. Okay. Now click on the object, hold alt, click and drag to the side, and hold shift to remain on a straight line, and leave the two keys as simple as that. Okay. Then you can give this another color, maybe black, and this is what we get. Okay. So it looks cool and nice. And then I'm going to um, click and drag to this other side hold alt and leave okay sorry i wanted to duplicate that object so i'm going to do it again hold alt to duplicate this and once you do that we're going to rotate so you right click on the object go to transform go to reflect okay so when you reflect you reflect vertically so it reflects to this other side okay so you know, we now have this curved side here i'll place it around here just like that so we get something that looks like this it looks very cool and very nice but this time around i'm going to reduce this a little so this reduces itself a little compared to this other side so that's what we get and with that i'm going to bring in the images i have for this okay so don't worry about all the shapes that are getting out of the page okay it's no problem it's no problem we're going to work on it at the end of the design okay so let's bring in the images we have here i have two images which i'll be bringing into adobe illustrator and just have to wait and it comes up just like that now i get these images very sharp and very clean okay let me know your favorite website to get high quality images down the comments 
so i can get ideas from you too okay so let's continue and if you enjoy watching this video make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend and then hit on embed and this is what we get so i'm going to tell you why i embed images you know adobe illustrator works with linked files okay so when you bring in any image to adobe illustrator it comes as a link okay it has a link with the original folder where the image is saved but that is to say if you delete the image in your original folder the image will be deleted in adobe illustrator too but then since i like working with files and i move files from one place to another i like to embed my images so once you embed the image stays and leaves in adobe illustrator it does not go to anywhere even if you change the original folder or you delete the original folder it does not affect it in adobe illustrator that's why you have to embed your images okay so let's continue i'm going to reduce the size and place it around here okay reduce the size again now hold alt and shift while doing this while reducing the size so you maintain a perfect size reduction and a perfect image you don't have to wipe your image like that it makes your image look very bad okay so you have to hold alt and shift while doing that to maintain a perfect reduction or scaling okay so i'm going to right click on this image arrange send to the back and why I send to the bag is because I want to clip that image with the black shape. Okay, I want to clip it with this black shape. That is because when you want to clip images, you have to send the image to back in Illustrator. The image must be behind the shape in Adobe Illustrator. So once the image is behind, hold shift, select the black shape which you want to clip it with, and you press Ctrl 7. Okay, if you don't want to press Ctrl 7, you press let's go back if you don't want to press ctrl 7 you right click and click on make clipping max so that's what we get okay so with that i'm going to um, bring in another image and i think i should be using this other image on this other side so i'm going to go back and take it to this other side and place it here now the image is behind the black shape already so all i have to do is to hold shift click on my shape and press ctrl 7 so that's what i get okay it looks cool very nice now i don't want to expose more of, of this guy here so to edit that now i don't want to open the clipping marks okay i've clipped this image inside the shape and i don't want to open the clipping marks so all i'm going to do is to use my direct selection tool click on the image and you can adjust it to any direction you want i think this looks cool and nice i can reduce the size as well so you can just hold shift and reduce the size this way I want to expose more of the guy like to show this guy is actually watching TV okay so let's see the other image okay it came with two images okay so I'll place this other image here and shift click on the black shape and press ctrl 7 to clip okay as simple as that now if you don't want to press ctrl 7 you can right click and click on make clipping max okay that's just that so i'm going to use my direct selection to make sure you click outside first you are not selecting anything else this won't work so you click outside before you click on your direct image the image inside the clipping marks okay then you place the image the way you want okay i'm going to reduce the size of the image because i want to expose more of the tv and that will be nice okay i think my shape here was way to be so i'll just place it around there that looks cool it may not be the same as the original flyer but you get the idea so that's it click on this other shape and i'm going to give it a stroke okay so go to where you have your stroke and increase the stroke size to seven points that's just it and it's black color it's okay it's just perfect and okay so that's what we get and i'm going to go back to my microsoft and copy channels available copy all this stuff take it to adobe illustrator click on your text to click and it opens up this and you press ctrl v to paste that so you're going to align that to the left okay take it to the top and place it around here and hold sheet and reduce the size and this is what we get now for this i'm going to select from latest movies 
I'm going to select that and give it um, make it um, medium okay that is Metropolis medium and take note I'm working with just one font right from the start of the design I'm working with one font and that's the font you're going to use to the end of the design okay so I'm going to shift this okay and reason being that I want to give it a kind of bullet points using my circles so with this circle I'm going to give this circle a yellow color the same brand color we have been using hit on I and click on anywhere you have the yellow color just right there so you can hold alt and hold shift to duplicate do that again alt and shift to duplicate alt and shift to duplicate so that's just that okay so we've gotten that done okay and i'm going to create a rectangle shape again around here fine and it comes with the yellow color already so i'm going to give it these curves around here that looks very cool you know how to do that by now Control left square bracket to send that to the back and using your text to highlight channels available and give it white color that looks perfect and very very nice okay i'm going to place that down a little that looks cool you're going to adjust that you know i like to give my design enough spaces okay adjust that so it shifts away from there now if you want to shift text okay from a particular level down you don't have to select the whole text to adjust the leading just the first line of text is enough to adjust the leading and it will move every other text down okay so you don't have to highlight all these text just to adjust else if you do that it will adjust the tracking or the leading of each of the lines of those text okay we just want to separate latest movies down from channels available a little and that's it then we can adjust our bullet points so it stands uh, with each of those lines and that looks cool and very nice then we're going to move on to the next one here and we're just going to copy this shape okay so i'm going to highlight both shapes i have here click hold alt to duplicate that now i want you to know that if you are using a mac there's no problem control is command alt is option and that's just all okay so i'm going to rotate this old shift rotate it this way and place it around here so this is what we get something that looks like this it's very very perfect okay place it around here very good and i'm going to release this max okay i don't need the image here so i'm going to right click release clipping max and you can delete off this image then select the shape which the image was placed okay and give it this same black color we have been working with okay and that looks very cool and very nice then i'm going to bring in some information here and this is it we're going to click on your uh, where we have all the informations and copy that and let's take it to Adobe Illustrator okay so you click on your text tool and click on anywhere and paste that so we have 12 months sub okay I'm going to break this text here and I'm going to break it again so we have something like that adjust the tracking so you can see the different text okay i'm going to make 65 uh, pounds i think that's pounds okay 65 pounds and increase the font size way too too big i'm going to make that bold okay let's see um metropolis black perfect reduce that just like that and i'm going to reduce 12 months sub i'm going to reduce the font size so it aligns just with the 65 pounds okay and i'm going to highlight including free vpn reduce the size please i'm not sure if this is pounds if i'm wrong just you can correct me i'm not used to this currency of this stuff okay so i'm going to reduce that little and i'm going to reduce that a little too uh, i'm going to take this close so I'm just playing with the tracking sorry I'm playing with the leading so it works well you can see my arrangement how it is without breaking the text I can just play with my leading and make sure everything is arranged well 
So you take it to where we have this, okay? Align it to that particular line and give it white color right there. Cool and nice. You can reduce the size a little because it's too big. Let's see the round here. Everything is well aligned, okay? So I'm going to increase the size of including 3 VPN a little and take it down a little. Then highlight 65 pounds and give it that yellow color again. So that's it. So we now have 12 months sub 65 pounds, including 3 VPN. Then I'm going to copy out these other stuff too. Let's see, um, copy this out. Refer for subscription for 10 for 10 pounds. Okay, copy that and take it to Adobe Illustrator. Click on your text tool and paste that. So when you paste that, this is what we get. Give it a um, white color and I'm going to change the, the black to uh, let's say bold. Okay, refer. Sorry, I'm wrong. Here. Refer, yeah. Then we're going to reduce the size. Hold shift and reduce the size a little. Place it on the same line and increase this a little. That looks cool and nice. Then only 10 pounds will be bold. I can highlight all this and make it uh, medium. That looks perfect and nice. Then click on your shape to create this shape for that and leave it at white shape. You can make this curved. Sorry. I like this and make it curved. Then you're going to send it to the back. I click on your text now i'm sending it to the back such that i can click on the text now if you can't do see that you can press ctrl y to see your text and click ctrl y again now ctrl y shows you the skeletal part of your design and when you press ctrl y again it brings you back to the original design so i'm going to change the color to black okay so it can be visible just like what you can see here so that is done for that and next thing i'm going to do is to click on the uh, Microsoft so you can copy other stuff that we have here and I think we have available on we're supposed to type that okay I'm going to type um, available on okay control a it comes with Metropolis medium font now we are just working with one font all through the flyer design and then make it 200 the tracking 200 okay and then place it around here that looks cool reduce the size a little place it around here and i'm going to um i observe that this stuff here is just taking enough space so i'm going to reduce this a little take it back so we have enough space there and that would be nice okay that would be so so nice you can take this back a little too and that's perfect so we have enough space to do other stuff around here and I'm going to create a shape with my um, rectangle to create this shape like that. And that looks cool. And hit on your swap fill and stroke to swap this. Okay, so I now have the black color on my stroke. I don't have any fill, but I have a stroke. Okay, and I want my stroke color to be orange. So I'm going to give it this orange using the eyedropper to click on the orange. It gives a fill. Okay, that's because we are copying a fill, but you can swap it. To a stroke okay then click on your stroke and increase the stroke size two points is okay and then i'm going to uh, align everything to the right okay align to the right just like that is okay then i'm going to bring in the logo i have here that's android logo and fire tv i'm going to bring it to adobe illustrator and it comes in just like that so you can click on embed okay then we're going to reduce the size for these very good select both of them bring it down here and reduce the size again that looks perfect and nice so you click on your android logo reduce it and place it around here that looks cool click on fire tv logo reduce and place it around here too okay so we have android and fire tv just right there that looks cool and nice then i'm going to copy out the, the little stuff basically the design is done okay but don't click off yet okay i have other tips for you <laughs> copy that and then uh, let's paste it around here now that's a discord um discord saver um reduce the tracking to zero okay 
and reduce that such that it fits this you can place it around here that looks cool very nice increase this uh, this code increase it okay so that's this code okay you can place your discord icon around here and that will be very very nice so this is just how i got that flyer done okay you can make your own adjustment to fit what you get so now once you are done with the design you just have to take off the the lines we don't need them anymore we are done okay highlight everything and press ctrl g and remember we are all and remember we are all working with one layer in our next adobe illustrator tutorial i'm going to show you how to work with different layers in adobe illustrator for this we are just placing everything on one layer which i don't see it as anything bad it's okay all on the fact that you know what you are doing okay so once you select all and press ctrl g you're going to create a shape that fits this a5 okay create this shape like that and make sure it aligns to the left and to the top okay then make sure the shape fits your a5 it's exactly your page okay just set it there and once you do that it's actually on the top of everything so we want to power clip let me give that shape a color so that you know it's actually a shape okay so this is what it looks like then we want to clip everything we have done into this shape so that we can take off those extra edges okay so you can click on the shape hold shift click on the group which we have made and press ctrl 7. so this is what we get once you do that it comes up with this design okay and that's what we get so with that we are able to achieve this flyer design thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video if you'd like to learn more or you want to get started with adobe illustrator click on this video and keep watching and i'll see you in the next one peace